What's up guys? Um, I had to take a quick break before, so we are uh, jumping back into this. Um, back with Ted's team. Uh, let's see here. Get this music going again. Um, okay, yeah, so like I was saying, he's got some Trick Room-esque mons here. Uh, good Trick Room mode with Colossal. Um, uh, good Trick Room setter, Cresselia, Gengar can even set Trick Room. Um, and then, he's, he's so he's only got, I know with Colossal, people want to set it up with Surf or Aqua Jet. Uh, obviously, they both have their uh, benefits. Aqua Jet's got priority, but um, at the same time, Surf isn't affected by Follow Me or like Rage Powder or something like that. So, uh, I mean, I guess... Maybe Clots are good surf too. I'm not actually sure. But it's not that fast is the problem. You want a fast surf user. And I don't. I mean, I know Rhydon gets surf. I don't think Dead End gets surf. Or Noivern. Mm, or any of these two. And either way, you want like a low special attacking Pokemon. So that wouldn't really work too well. So he's really only got the Aqua Jet to set up Clots. So I wonder if he picks up a surf mon. Uh, no, he hasn't made any transactions. Um, but. Um, let's see. Let's see what else he's got there. He's got Licky Licky for Cloud9. Uh, that's really interesting. I like that. Yeah, Licky Licky's pretty bulky. 95 on the defenses. 110. Um, let's see. He's got Tangrowth for Redirection, um, which is pretty nice because, you know, if he wants to redirect uh, anything without safety goggles, uh, besides that, you know, you get grass types that would ignore it, so, you know, if you were using Gengar, it's like, you know, a grass type doesn't want to go into that, it really won't do much, so, or even, like, Noivern, or something, so, that's pretty nice, uh, Dead End was an interesting pick, I mean, it's, I mean, it's got decent speed, I guess, but I don't really know what it does besides, like, plus stuff, but he doesn't have any other plus users, so, it'll be interesting, um, because Elliot's nice, you got Ally Switch, Cover Colossal. Um, and yeah, I mean, so he's got the Tailwind mode, he's got the Trick Room mode with Cresselia. Uh, so that's a, that's a solid team for sure. Um, I mean, no, no Guard by Champ's really scary. I guess you can use Lightning Rod, Ride On too with Clotzer. That's kind of nice. Nothing else is really weak to electric. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it really, it's I don't know that I see all of the combos right away. I'm sure Ted's got some nice stuff cooked up, um, but at, you know, either way, he's got solid Pokemon all around. Um, so th th this will be a scary team to face. This is another one of those teams. Maybe besides Dead End, um, although it is his only Electric type, but like uh, and Fairy. Um, but I could I could see all of these Pokemon coming um, to certain matches, uh, depending on the matchup. So that's th those teams are very scary when there's no obvious like bad Pokemon. You know, I think all of these are pretty solid. Um, so yeah, I guess you could do Machamp Bullet Punch stuff. Set up like a weakness policy to ride on. Yeah, that wouldn't be that good though. Um, okay, well let's move on to the rolled gold pretzels. Now, there's a very clear and obvious weakness with these rolled gold pretzels. <clears throat> and I'll point that out here. Um, so if we look at this list right here, right? Let's just start from the top. Lapras G-Max. Okay. Versus a Bolton. Choice Band, Strong Jaw, Thunder, Thunder Fang, Oko. Blacephalon, Cr uh, Crunch, Oko. Nihilego. 47 defense, that's nothing. Thunderfang Oko. Tornadus, Thunderfang Oko. Slowbro, Thunderfang Oko. Togemaro, Firefang, Oko. Drampa, Playrough, Oko. Fungus, Firefang, Oko. Lilip, you don't do anything. 77 defense. Uh, you know, crunch, probably Oko's. Throw, Playrough, Oko's. Mon Jr., too weak. Look at that, it says it right there. Thunderfang, Oko. It, I mean, that's all there really is to say about this team. 
<laughs> um, um, no, okay. But more seriously, uh, so let's look at these averages. Um, pretty good across the board. Um, low defense uh, there, um, and speed. So um, let's see what he's got here. Um, I believe he did make a transaction. I can't remember what it was, so. Um, but, uh, okay, so uh, just what he's got here. Lapras checking max. Uh, Scrange has been really great in just the current meta, so I can see Lapras doing really well here. Um, that's good. And then um, some super scary hard hitters with the Ultra Beast here uh, in Tornadoes Incarnate. So those three are really scary. Um, I mean, with, technically with Blacephalon or Tornadoes, you can go physical or special. So that's also those mix ups. And technically with Lapras, you could too. But yeah, those the, the fast hard hitters. You know that that that's uh, that's really scary. Um, and Toe tomorrow covers these really well, right? So um, lightning rod for Lapras for Tornadus, um, and and what that does too, um, and Slowbro. So those three helps, and it actually it, it helps if somebody wanted to set up like electric terrain with a max lightning to prevent like fungus spores. Uh, you could actually switch into over Toe tomorrow and prevent. The max lightning from you know from setting up from them setting up that terrain so that's that's also a nice uh, little feature there um you've got lily put the storm drain although i guess that that does protect Blacephalon really well so that's uh, and the helego um so that's really nice um and then you've got fungus for just general redirection um although you really you still wouldn't be able to protect against grass attacks um for like lapras or Slowbro, although, I mean, you, you could run Sap Sip around Dramp, although it's not as good because his attack is just so low, but you could. Um, he does have Slowbro for Trick Room and a little bit of Trick Room mode. I mean, Fungus, Spore, and people in Trick Room, super annoying. Uh, throw uh, decently low speed and uh, you know, really good offense there. And you can have guts uh, too, uh, or inner focus to prevent intimidate, or like guts stuff. So, so that's that's really strong. Uh, Drampa's amazing in trick room. I love Drampa. Big fan of that. Um, and yeah, what else? I mean, Trance Card, like yeah, you can do. You can actually, yeah, like I said, you can go offensive, physical, or special, but also the prankster utility. Uh, that's really nice. He has a lot of cool stuff. The leap's actually kind of slow too, so you could actually set up Trick Room and then go for like Surf stuff, and then you know, I guess you could Dynamax the leap. I don't know, um, but that's that's pretty nice. Um, solid team overall. Um, the only thing is, uh, these Ultra Beasts are a little frail, um, so. Uh, and and even Tornadoes Incarnate doesn't have have that good of offense. So the the problem is there's, you know, you've got fast, hard hitters, who are are kind of frail, um, or you've got the slow like bulky route um, to set up like Trick Room or like Lapras with screens. Um, I mean it's good to have both modes for sure. So I like that. Um, I think Mom Junior gets fake out. Yeah, he does. So and oh and Token Tomorrow gets fake out. So yeah, uh, that's always nice to have somebody with fake out. Um, so overall, solid draft. I like how I like some of the synergy here, right? You know, Tugger Morrow with the coverage and uh, Storm Drain with the, with you know the covers Blacephalon and stuff. So some good synergy for sure. Um, and 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 you've got Tailwind for uh, Tornadoes, which um, the only thing is I don't know that a lot of these mons besides Lapras really love Tailwind. I mean, like, most of these you would operate under in Trick Room, or, uh, I mean, yeah, like, Lapras is really the only one who loves Tailwind. Um, the Blacephalon, I mean, you can, ch usually people choice it. I guess you don't have to choice it, and you could just, you know, 107, that's, that's good, but it, it's already really speedy as a thing. Like, you know, usually the Pokemon between, like, 70 and 100 like Tailwind. So, I don't know. I guess he could have got some more, some better Tailwind abusers, like a little bit slower, like like a 60 speed that's like pretty bulky and 
and uh, has, has good attack. Like, throw is kind of like that, except for 45 is a little too slow, I think, for Tailwind. Um, so yeah, I, th I think that, that like a 60 speed mod, I mean, like the Lapras, but, and, and so I guess maybe that's all, maybe that's all Gumi wants. So, um, yeah, well, uh, a good draft by Gumi. Uh, let's move on here. All right, St. Lucy Luxuries. So, let's see here. Corviknight G-Max. I think that's a really interesting pick um, right off the bat because I think, especially with the presence of screens and some more terrain setters, uh, I think you could actually use G-Max Corviknight uh, effectively like with, a, um, with that Wind Rage. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, for your G-Max pick here. Um, okay, let's look. Stat-wise, really solid across the board. I mean, lowest 175 being speed, um, but these are high, high 80, you know, low 90 averages. That, those are solid um, for what we've seen um, in the other teams. So, uh, good all around. Let's see. Um, we've got Entei. Entei's awesome. Gets Bulldoze. Sacred Fire is really scary. Um, inner Focus, you, you can't intimidate it. You've got Mirror Armor on Corviknight, too. Um, so it's already looking like Intimidate on this team isn't even really that useful. Except against Barbarical and Rapidash, which... Um, yeah, this is... So this is... Uh, you know, I, I said on some previous teams, you know, you might have uh, Pokemon that are brought... You know, any Pokemon can be brought, any match. Like, they're, they're all really good. This one, just from a brief glance, it you know, they're pretty solid, but... I don't know how often you're really bringing Barbarical or Rapidash Galar. Um, I mean, War Total actually can be decent with Eviolite, you know, kind of supportive and whatnot. Um, so that's cool. But yeah, I don't know. This, the, um, I don't know how often you actually bring these. Cons just just considering the other Pokemon that you have, right? So you have uh, you have Entei, you have Spectrier, uh, huge threat, um, and you can like you know burn something with Sacred Fire and then just blow it up with like a Hex from Spectrier or something like that. So that's kind of cool, or like a Will O Wisp from Weezing. Um, so you got some fast Pokemon up here, 100, 130, 101. That's really nice having that 101 to outspeed all the base 100 Pokemon. And Bolt Absorb School, you know, it, uh, sort of helps protect Corviknight from the uh, from Lightning Attacks or Lapras. You could just switch it in, um, and, and so that's really scary. Um, and then you've got let's see, Bronze on for the Trick Room mode. So Lapras could be fine during Trick Room. Corviknight you can use in Trick Room. Um, I mean, I guess you could use Cradilli or Weaving. Um, even Barbarical, it's it's not bad, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess Bronzong's a good counter for um, like counter for Trick Room. Like you can just you can undo someone else's Trick Room if you want. That's not bad. Weezing Galar, um, you know, you don't have any abilities. That looks like you want to turn off in your team, so that's a good defensive pick. But also, you can use like Misty Terrain um, if you think they're gonna like uh, you know you know Prankster Thunder Wave or Spectriere or something like that. Or uh, uh, you know Entei can't be burned, and that's a big physical attacker. Um, and Corviknight doesn't get affected by terrain, so that's maybe maybe Misty Terrain isn't as useful. I mean, there's no um, there's no one bird users or anything like that. But I mean, I guess. You could always run Levitate, too, um, since you got Entei's weak to ground. Um, but I guess he's the only one besides Barbarical. Um, hmm. Uh, I've also seen, I've seen, like, Ember weakness policy stuff. You know, you could you, like, do that with Entei on Corviknight. That'd be kind of funny. Um, let's see, like, let's look at the priority. Aqua Jet. I guess you could do Aqua Jet weakness policy stuff with Entei. You could do Surf stuff with Cradilly, with Lapras or War Turtle. Um, or maybe even Barbarical. He's got low special attack, but he's not that fast, so. Um, let's see. Oh, you got Fake Out with War Turtle, too. I forgot about that. You fake Out Science. You can do Ice Shard, I guess, weakness policy stuff with Thunderous. Uh,. Yeah, it's a solid team. Um, I'm interested to see how it synergizes. I mean, like, like I said, like you've got some big threats that you can like bring every time, and it's always gonna be scary. Like just these, these honestly four Pokemon here. You bring these on any team, 
and it's it's going to be threatening. Um, so, uh, but you know they're not the most defensive. Obviously, like Spectrier and Thunderous, like kind of frail. Same with Entei, like not the best. But Corviknight's got some bulk, so that's nice. Um, and yeah, you can always take Lapras. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm interested to see how how this team synergizes, or if it's just uh, you know, or if there's just a bunch of like you know hard hitting you know hard hitting modes. You know, you can just go just go Spectrier, freaking Choice Scarf, Shadow Ball stuff. I don't know. There's no pranks around this team, but I don't know. It'd be really interesting. Um, I guess you could just like Dynamax Spectrier go for Max Ghost and have Entei blow stuff up with its physical attack. Um, so that's a, that's not that's an option, and like I said, like it's strong. You got base 130, but uh, you really just got Trick Room with Bronzong and Rapidash. You don't got Tailwind, so you don't. I don't know how this team really deals with speed control. I don't see the one with like Thunder Wave or anything. I, mean, I guess Thunderous probably gets it, but you're not going to use that. So yeah, I think I think speed speed control might be interesting on this team. I'm interested to see how they if they need it one and. If they, you know, if if uh, if Mr. Rabbit does, you know, want that speed control, how they end up utilizing it. So maybe they just go trick room modes. You know, if people tell one. I mean, that's definitely an option. So uh, yeah, really interesting team. I want to see. Um, I you know what? I guess I forgot on Gumi too to say who I thought I want him, I wanted him to utilize. Um, I want to see how Gumi utilizes throw. I think he's really good. I think he's got some good stats, but he, he, I think he's honestly a little bit underrated, especially for a tier four. So I think it'll be interesting if he brings throw out. Um, and then on this team, I want to see, hmm. I honestly want to see how Spectrier works on this team. Like, I want to see if there's anything, you know, kind of, you know, some tech stuff that's brought out with Spectrier or how, how they use it, you know, is it just going to be a glass cannon revenge mod? I don't know. It'll be interesting. I really want to see how they use Spectrier. Um, okay. Next team here. Let's see. Uh, wow. We got a lot to go through. Okay. Summer Girls Graggies. I'm going to have to go quicker on some of these. Okay. So let's get the stats. We got... Uh, decent spats, or spats, decent stats across the board. Mid 80s, um, a little bit low on the HP and the speed. Um, so, but let's see, let's see how they synergize here. Um, so you got the winds that got tailwind. That's really nice. Um, you know, you can go big tiers for the Rodom. Uh, you can, you can even set trick room too. Um, Honestly, just looking at this really briefly, this again I think might be one of those teams that you you bring a lot of the same Pokemon, like like just you know Butterfree's redirection to Sleep Powder, super annoying. Dragovich, awesome in Tailwind or in Sand Mode with Gigalith. Exeggutor, uh, you got Sunny Day stuff with Whimsicott, so you can bring that and have two two different weather modes. Uh, Alone in Persia gets Sunny Day too, and I don't see any beat up abusers here but um but yeah it also gets fake out that's just nice um Stoutland, you can go sand mode with gigalith um when's it got against trick room i think too so you can go trick room mode there you can go trick room with haunter i guess but i like these bottom three tier four picks i don't see them bringing them that often i don't know i mean i guess clang with evie light has some bulk same with Girder on the physical side. And like 105, that's again, especially with like Sheer Force, that's nothing to scoff at, or Iron Fist. And I mean, Hunter has good special attack, it's just low. You know, you, got, you probably gotta run Focus Sash or something. I mean, Levitate's nice, I guess, if you're going into Gigalith, but you already have Rotom Heat for Levitate too. Um, but like these top picks, like really scary. Like, you know, like I said, you could probably run Butterfree, Dracovish, Rotom, Whimsicott. Uh, Gigalith and like Exeggutor's Outland, and like every time, and just and be really, really threatening. Um, or even throw a Lola Persian in there. Um, Whimsicott's so nice in, dra in draft because you can use you know tons of different sets. Um, Dragovish actually has some different stuff it can do too, which is nice. Same with Rotom, 
Um, yeah, and, and, and again, like, Butterfree, like, things that can avoid Rage Powder are going to be Grass types or Safety Goggles, and, like, Grass types, like, what are you going to go into? Like, Gigalith? Like, that's not a huge deal. Um, so, yeah. It's, I mean, there's no no Fairy types on this team. Or, no, no, yeah, when it got Fairy, never mind. Um, so, yeah, like I said. And, and the other thing is, like, you can only put Eviolite on one of these, and I guess... I guess you would never run Haunter Eviolite, so you can only put it on Girder or Clang. So, like, you probably won't bring both of those in a, in a match ever. And, like, that's really the only Steel type you've got in fighting. But, you know, you don't need that when you have 170 base power Fishes run coming out of Dracovich. Um, very interesting. Very, I mean, very good, obvious synergy here with the Sunny Day stuff, with the weather modes. Um... But I wonder, I wonder, like, I want to see this team, how they, how it works outside of weather, right? So you can use, like, Tailwind Dracovich stuff, but, like, it's, it's very obvious there was some weather synergy, uh, you know, into this draft planning. So I, I wonder if this, if this team, you know, chooses to opt to not go weather mode some weeks. That'll be interesting. Um, and I want to see, uh... I want to see how this Exeggutor is used. Um, I mean, it's got... Because it's got a Chlorophyll and Harvest, and you could run it fast in, in Sun or uh, or slow in Trick Room. And so I I, uh, I do want to see how, how that Exeggutor is utilized um, on this team. So, really good draft. Uh, I know people have been talking about the Scraggies. Scary draft. And the, yeah, those... those just, just that Sanmo of a Dracovish. Really scary. And having Whimsicott, you know. Um, okay. So next team. The Texas Toed Frogs. Politoed. Okay, let's check the stats. So, pretty solid across the board. You got 80, 80s, uh, above 80 in every stat. So very, very, like, solid averages, and then maybe just more physically oriented. Um, okay, let's see this. Um... So you've got Rillaboom, uh, Gigantamax, which is an awesome Gigantamax pick because you're pretty much getting a free S tier too, which is nice. And you got Grassy Surge. Um, no, oh, you do have Sir Puff and Brood, so yeah, you can do some cool stuff there. Um, you can do like uh, I know uh, I know Kudel already talked about this in their draft analysis video, but you got uh, Frostlass with like the. Um, with Crypto Anger Point and Frost Breath. Um, but, you know, if I just look at the team, like, like Rillaboom's, Rillaboom's pretty scary. You can do some different stuff with them. Same with Milotic. Um, and Cro Crocodile has really good abilities. You know, you, don't, you, you probably wouldn't use Anger Point that much, but like Moxie and Intimidate, like you can do Choice Craft Moxie stuff or just Intimidate stuff and be annoying. Passimian, you've got Defiant, but I wonder, you know, I wonder if you could do some interesting like, receiver stuff. Like you could receive you could receive Intimidate. You could receive, um, you know, uh, you could receive Steely Spirit. I don't know, Unburden, Weak Armor. You know, you could. I don't know. You may. You might be able to do some cool stuff with Receiver on this team too. Um, Volcarona for Redirection Rage Powder. That's pretty cool. Um, you know, obviously, unless you're pairing it with like Crypto or Milotic, because Grass types can ignore that. But, uh, but like, just. If I just look at these top six Pokemon right here, all super scary. Like these tier ones, tier two, Gigantamax, all super scary. Latios, such insane coverage, um, and that high special attack stat and, and and speed. Like you can just run so many different sets on Latios. It's uh, that's gonna be really scary. Um, and then even these bottom picks though, like like Frostlass, you can do some cool stuff with. A 110 base speed ain't nothing to scoff at. Uh, Perserker, uh, you can use in Trick Room, and with Steely Spirit, like, just does disgusting damages. Uh, Slurpuff, Unburdened, obviously you can do some cool stuff. Uh, we saw, I think there was a team that used it in the Champions Cup, uh, with Wolfie and A-Drive that, uh, did some cool stuff with that. Um, Crustle, you've got Weak Armor, which, I don't know if there's a good way to proc it on this team, really. But, um, either way, you can do, um... You can do some cool stuff with Crustle, or you know, uh, or you can even run Sturdy. Um, 
and just run like a, you know, choice band or something like that and throw off a huge rock wrecker. I don't know. Um, and Moog is kind of interesting. Um, I guess it's like, you know, it is an, you can do, use it as an electric uh, immunity with motor drive um, for like Milotic or something like that. Um, and I mean, it's got 103 speed. Uh, I think it might get speed swap or something like that. I don't know. It'd be interesting to see what, what how, how that's used. Um, but I guess for me, I want to see how this Latios is used, be, like all the different sets it can run. But I'm also interested to see how this Pissimian is utilized. I mean, obviously it's a great defiant user, you know, just throw a soul vest on or something. But I think, you know, you might be able to do some cool receiver stuff with it. So I'm interested to see how, um, how that works. Um, very cool team, uh, very scary. Um, you've definitely got some synergy here, and and lots of good picks. And like like a, like you could you could definitely use these in lots of games, lots of good type coverages. Um, yeah, I like I like this draft for sure. Okay, uh, t -t 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 -tar -tar sauces. So this is Sakimoto. Look at that beautiful logo right there. Um, so this one is a clear sand mode with Dragonzilla and Expedo Tyrantar. Very scary, just like the other sand mode we saw with uh, Gigalith Stoutland and Dracovish from the Scraggies. Um, and you've got Raichu Charizard, uh, covers that, covers the Starmie, um, covers the Whale Lord. Um, and, and just having like fake out, you know, nuzzle, eerie impulse stuff, like, like just, uh, it's really annoying. Um, you've got Robombi for speed swap, so you could, I mean, I guess you could speed swap like Tyranitar or even, uh, or even like Whale or do like, um, do like Water Spout stuff. Um, I don't know, you can, um, you can cover Drake's ult with like Ally Switch, you know, because it's fairy type. Um, or you could even speed swap them. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Is there any sunny day users? I bet Robombi gets sunny day. I don't know. But I bet it does. Um, and, you know, I mean, you don't have to use Charizard in Sun. It's just obviously a lot better. Um, that would have been nice to have somebody who can easily set Sun. And that, that may have been the meaning behind the Robombi pick. Um, Noctowl? I don't even know if Noctowl gets stay win, but. Even if it doesn't, like, you've got the fast sand mode anyways, and you've got, uh, I think Slowpoke gets Trick Room, and with Eevee Light can be kind of bulky, and Mr. Rhyme gets Trick Room, I think. Um, so you could go Trick Room mode stuff, although there's not huge abuses of Trick Room on the scene, like, like Waylord. Um, even base 60, though, isn't that slow, so yeah, not, not huge, not, uh, great Trick Room users. Oh, I totally forgot to look at the stats. Um, and yeah, that makes sense with the 82 bit, like average speed that, you know, uh, kind of low on the defenses that, that stands out. So maybe a more offensive team, really high HP. Ah, oh, it's the whaler bringing it up though. Um, but yeah, Mr. Mom's got fake out too, or, uh, Mr. Rhyme, sorry. And, uh, and screen clear is really nice with, with the prevalence of screens too. Um, so that's cool. Uh, Tintin Leds is kind of scary on Noctowl, uh, too sometimes. So, so that's nice. Um. For me, you know, I I want to see what the Starmie does on this team. I think that's really cool. I mean, I, I, I know it gets Meteor Beam. Um, I mean, like, its abilities aren't great, right? So Analytic isn't that useful because it's so fast. Um, you're never really going last. But um, uh, decent priority here. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. There's uh, I, I want to see how the Starmie fits in. I know... Um, Sakimoto actually traded for it because originally uh, they had uh, these Pokemon, but they traded for Slowpoke, Galar, Mr. Rhyme, and Starmie. So I'm interested to see how he uses Starmie and why that trade was made. That's not super apparent to me right now, um, but that's cool. It's really cool. Um, I mean, obviously the sand mode is just super scary right off the bat, and Ratchet covers Charizard, so uh, that's really cool. And, and you could, I could see a lot of these Pokemon being brought um, most games, but. Obviously, um, I would expect to see sand mode like almost every time, at least the threat of it, right? Um, so that's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a really solid draft, good synergy there. Um, 
Let's see here. Let's go to the next one. United States of Wolfie. Okay, so let's look at the stats. Really good average stats, um, especially that special attack. So lots of high special attackers, as we'll see. And uh, the speed's pretty good, actually. 76 ain't bad compared to some of the other teams we've seen. And yeah, if we look at this, like Venusaur, Tapu Lele, uh, Renucleus, Helios, uh, Wishy Washy, like all huge special attackers. So. This team is definitely much more special oriented. I mean, you've got Dermantan, uh, at, who can go physical, or who's you know always physical. Wishy Washy, who can go physical. Um, Flygon's physical, but yeah, other than that, a lot of lot of good special attackers. You know, and oh, obviously you have Torkoal. Um, so yeah, you've got the Torkoal Venusaur stuff. That's really nice. You've got the Tapu Lele uh, unburdened stuff with Driplim. You can do expanding for stuff with Reuniclus or set Trick Room with Torkoal. Um, you've got also Sun with Heliolisk, so like, uh, you know, obviously like flying types are kind of threatening to Venusaur, but like if you, you know, you could just so do Torkoal Heliolisk and then cover the flying types with the, um, with the Helios electric types, so, but you can also run different modes, like if you know your opponents, like, like that last game we saw had a sand mode, like you could actually run sand veil, or you could run dry skin to do like, uh, I think actually Helios gets Alex, which, uh, but you could run like Dry Skin to cover like Torkoal. So, like, you know, you might think it's solar power and then you know, mix it up. So, like, there's actually some cool stuff you can do with this team. Um, Low Bunny, I think it's fake out. Yeah, it does. Um, wow, I didn't know Flygon got first impression. That's pretty interesting. Um, and yeah, and you've got Feeble Unburdened stuff too. Great tier 4 pickup there. Um, so, you can do Unburdened stuff with the, with the Tapu Lele. Uh, and then. And then that's really nice too because uh, unburdened with psychic terrain I think is the best because you you know the unburdened the point of it is the speed boost and like fake out really messes with that but you can't fake out um, well you can't fake out your room because it's ghost because it's not picked by the terrain but you can't pick out in psychic terrain so that's a that's another really cool uh, feature I like. And then um, I do like, you know, I do like how there's, you've got Wishy Washy, Reunitus, and Torkoal, like clear trick room mode, but then you've got Tapu Lele, super strong pass attacker, Darmanitan pass attacker, Venusaur in the sun. Um, I feel like this team is very ability dependent, so I feel like a Weezing would like shut it down hard. Um, or something, you know, but obviously not everyone has Weezing, there's 24 coaches. And so. Um, Without that, like, this team is really scary. Um, and, uh, yeah, you know, you can do low punny, trick, clutch, assault, best stuff to mess up a support, like like a Sableye or, or a Prankster, you know, Whimsicott. So, um, the, you can do a lot of interesting stuff. Um, I am interested to see... I'm interested to see um, what this Darmanitan... Uh, does on this team. I mean, obviously you can just do Torkoal and like, huge Flare Blitzes, but like, you could actually do some weird Zen Mode stuff, and and I think because it becomes Psychic type, and I think it actually gets Expanding Force, and its special attack is pretty high when it does, goes to Zen Mode. So like, I kind of want to see if that Dermantan, if you ever go, you know, get to bring out Zen Mode, uh, I, I think that would be really cool. That that that's an Amon I'm really interested in. Um, let's look here. Um. Okay, we only have a few more. I think these, yeah, these teams are from another season. So, um, okay, let's look at United Umbreons. If my computer will go right now. Looks like it's kind of stuck. Um, yeah, let's, let's check the next one. Let's check the Waterloo Warriors. See if that works. Oh, no. We're gonna have to play that uh, play that stupid T Rex game where we just jump over the the cactuses because Google isn't loading. Okay, it's working. Um, let's see if the United Umbreons will. Is the United Umbreons even in this? I think they are in this league. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So let's see this. So stats. Wow. Really high defense. Or no, those that's attack. 
really high attack and high defense. Great stats across the board. Speed's kind of low, so I'm guessing more trick room oriented. Let's see. So yeah, uh, we got the G Max Grim Snarl. That's another great G Max pick in my opinion because you can actually do some cool physical stuff with it, or you could just use Grim Snarl. You know, at you, you're using your Gigantamax pick to get a solid. Uh, I'm not sure if Grim Snarl's S or A, but like you know, or one or you know tier one or two. But like you're getting you're getting a solid Pokemon out of that who you can just use pranks or stuff with. Um, and you can do like hit on top, like bullet punch, pickpocket stuff. So that's really cool. Um, and uh, let's see what else we got. Okay, so Tapafini, obviously really scary. Um, no unburdened users. Um, but Tapafini is just great all around. Uh, you know, something you could bring in any game, and it'll be it'll be really solid. Um, Zapdos, Zapdos has been really not really good too. Um, high high special attack and, and speed. Um, I mean, Hitmon Top's great for Intimidate stuff. You could actually do some weird Technician stuff, like Technician, um, uh, Triple Axle, and like stuff like that. That's kind of cool. Because, um, yeah, I don't see any other Ice types in this team, so that could be interesting. Mesprit, like I said, these, whatever you call these, these, um, you know, Spirits or, or Witches, I don't know what they are. Whatever they are, they, uh, they're really strong. And... Uh, I know Mesprit was used, I think, in the in like a Victory Road tournament or something like that, like the Crown Thunder one. Uh, and it's just it's really solid because you have obviously got Azel, who's um, super uh, offense oriented, and Uxie, who's defensive. And then Mesprit, like you can go either, so it makes it a lot scarier, I think, in draft because you don't know whether it's going to be a defensive supportive mod or physical. And and even if it does go physical, is it special or you know or physical? So. Uh, that makes it really scary. Um, let's see. So you've got the mud sale. Um, does anyone get beat up? I'm sure this team has like a beat up user. And I just don't know about it. But um, but yeah, mud sale. I think mud sale is great too. Um, not sure if anyone on this team. Actually, no. I think Grimstar gets swagger. You can do swagger on tempo stuff, so that's cool. Um, and then you've got Senna Scorch. Sunscorch is nice. Uh, Archaeops, I think it's Tailwind, or you could just, I mean, 140 attack with 110 uh, speed. You can just throw off Rock Slide. That's super annoying, so that's really nice. Um, Executor Lola, you've got as like a Trick Room mode. I know it learns Trick Room. I think Mesprit, yeah, Mesprit learns Trick Room too. So those are the two Trick Room setters, and you can obviously run Doughblade, 35 speed Trick Room with Eviolite. That thing is a tank. And Steel and Ghost are really nice types. Um, you know, it, it, even though it has low special uh, special defense, like with DB Light, like it gets to a decent number, and so that's that's actually really strong. Um, you don't even need to, you don't even need to run DB Light necessarily. I mean, you could you could run Soul Bath, I guess, if you wanted to. I don't know that wouldn't make any sense. You would just DB Light's better in that scenario. But yeah, um, Executor Lola solid. You don't have any Sunsetters, so you probably wouldn't do like Harvest stuff. But yeah, Frisk is nice. Uh, and like yeah, Mudsdale, Santa's Scorch, Executor, Lola, Doe Blade, all great in Trick Room. Um, even Grimstorm, decent in Trick Room. Um, yeah, this team's got so it's really got like Archaeops and Zapdos are the fastest. I mean, 110 as being your fastest mod isn't the best, but like you've got Prankster, Thunder Wave. You've got uh, you know you can just do Max Air Streams or even just Tailwind with Archaeops. So like. I don't think that would be any problem. So great speed control on this team, and uh, and solid solid uh, you know coverage of, of the speed tiers. Uh, you know low is going from 35 up to up to 110. So um, fast mode or slow mode, and some good synergy. So I, I really like that. Um, I am let's see. I'm interested to see um, how the how the Mesprit's used, you know, um, obviously, like, I'm not going to team build with this team, but, like, in team building, I wonder if, if uh, Mega Umbreon decides to use Mesprit more supportive or more offensive uh, throughout the season, so I think that'll be that'll be really interesting to see how, how he uses that. Um, okay, so let's jump on to the next one. Almost there. Two more teams. Waterloo Warriors. Um... Let's see. By this time, most people have just 
I mean, logged off. We don't even need to talk about my guy's team. Nobody's watching this video anymore, so just, uh, I'll just, I mean, I'll just say some stuff for for my guy, since you're, you're probably the only one watching at this point in the video, you know, since it's so long, so, um, so let's see, let's see what you got. Um, I'm just joking, by the way. Uh, you've got, okay, town low speed, not great uh, defense, and HP could be better, but I, and obviously that's brought down by some of these uh, lower, like, tier 4 picks who are, um, uh, you know, you might use a TV light or something. But, like, so you can do some really cool stuff. Um, I, I, I will start from the bottom, actually. So you've got Mantine, and you've got Purloin with, who can set Rain Dance, so that's kind of cool. Um, I mean, obviously you can set up from a Max Geyser, from Jellicent, or uh, Pre-Marina as well. But uh, that's kind of, you know, Rain Dance covers the Scavalier well, too, because it reduces fire types, so that's kind of that's kind of nice. And same with Serena. Serena's an awesome pick, I think, especially in draft. You know, you... you can run it defensive and sort of supportive, uh, especially with that Queenly Majesty, but you can also just go like super offense and it gets good coverage with like triple axle, high jump kick, and power whip, so really strong. And you can use it to taunt. Um, Purloin, I think, is an awesome pick. Uh, I have fly part on my team, but I think Purloin is kind of a little bit more bang for your buck because you know, most of the time you're going focus action anyway, so like I think it's, I think, I, I think a lot of the same moves. Uh, I'm not sure what extra moves fly part gets, but. Um, really nice there. Solosis, you can actually do some interesting stuff with, especially considering it's 20 speed and 105 special attack. Like, I mean, you could run Focus Ash, or you could just, uh, I don't know. I mean, Eevee Light, eh, Eevee Light might let it live a hit or something like that, but, um, you could do some cool stuff with it, for sure. Um, or even just, like, uh, Life Orb Magic Guard, so it doesn't take the damage, but it's, uh, but yeah, that underspeeds a lot of stuff in Trick Room, so that's kind of nice, because most people, like, only expect, like, a, yeah, like a Scavalier or, like, a Torkoal to be at 20 or lower, or now Stack Attack at 2, but, um, but yeah, a Scavalier, great, uh, for Trick Room. You've got Dragapult, you can do Beat Up on Arcanine for Justify, that's cool, you can do, um, well, uh, nobody on here gets Shadow Sneak, I guess, but yeah, I mean, you can get, Dragapult's just great all around, uh, and you got Toxtricity, um, who is probably going to be, um, yeah, that's probably my pick of, I want to see how Toxtricity is used on this team. You don't have anyone with plus, I don't think, uh, but either way, like, um, Toxtricity is just a cool Pokemon in my opinion, especially, like, the Gigantamax. Um, you know, I don't, I'm not sure, like, like, since the Gigantamax form, it paralyzes or poisons, like, you get a status move, and some people are, they think, like, okay, well, you don't know if you're paralyzing them or if you're poisoning them, so it's kind of annoying. But uh, if you pair it with, like, Hex Jellicent, like, that's kind of cool because it doesn't matter what stats it gives, Hex is going to be doing double damage. Uh, or even, like, Hex Dragapult. Wow, I didn't even think about that. Like, that's, like, that's, uh, that can be really scary. Um, I like, I like Mantine, too. I think he's, he's very, very versatile and uh, huge special defense, so that's, that's awesome. Um, Porygon, I don't, I really don't think that's a bad pick. Um, I mean, obviously Porygon 2 is better if you're going to use, like, Eviolite stuff, but, like, you can do, still do some nice stuff with Porygon. Um, you know, download's a great uh, ability. Um, you could maybe use some Trace, I guess, if you wanted to, but uh, also Analytic. Like, if, you know, you're going to be going last most of the time, most likely with that 40 speed, so that's uh, that's really cool. Um, so, yeah, really, really scary. Uh, really interesting team here. Um, I like this, uh, honestly. I think, I think this, is, this is a solid team. Okay. Uh, last one. Finally. People are groaning. Uh, just get this over with. Who cares? Uh, no. Sorry. We care about you, Matrix. We care about your, your Whale Lords. Uh, even though you didn't draft them, which gives you minus points. Um, okay. Let's check out these stats. Pretty high in the off, on the, uh, attack and defense and special defense. So really, really defensive team. You got, you know, uh, HP 78 is kind of solid. Um, same with the special attack, so probably a lot less special oriented, uh, considering that difference, but, uh, kind of a lower speed, so I wonder if this is more of a trick roomy team. Um, eh, not really, though, because you've got, uh, you've got the weather mode, Vanilla's Archivist. I think that's really strong. Um, I, I like that weather mode, the tail. I, you know, I, I think a lot of people are still kind of wary to, like, test it out, but I think it's, 
I think it's really cool. I mean, 55 in uh, speed, I think you only get to 117 in pack hit, or 117 uh, speed if you max it out. So, like, times two, that's only, like, two, 234. So, like, you can definitely outspeed that with, like, some choice Pokemon. But uh, either way, like, that's a that's a great, great mode to, to run. And uh, let's see, you've got, and even meter grounds, you can do, like, max hail stuff to set up the hail for Arcturus, so that's nice. Uh, beat up users. I don't know who gets beat up on this game. Oh wait, Vanillix gets beat up. Yeah, Vanillix with Terrakion. That's solid too. Um, and Snorlax G Max. That's really nice, especially to counter Trick Room. I mean, you've got Dustnor to, to set Trick Room, I guess, too. Um, Unpheasant, I think, gets Tailwind. Uh, I don't know. Togepi for the redirection too to like set up the Snorlax too is really nice. Um, you got Scrafty for Intimidate. And, I mean, Thunderous Incarnate, too, is super scary with Prankster or Defiant, so um, this, honestly, is looking like one of the more, one of the scarier teams, uh, in my opinion. Um, you've got some really cool stuff you can do. Um, I mean, Magmar is honestly kind of solid, especially with Eevee Light. You get some special bulk. Um, I mean, or you can just also go crit mode with Unpheasant and, you know, set up a focus energy with, uh, you know, and, and, and do super luck, or you can set up you don't even need focus energy, you can just run Razor Claw and Super Luck and, and just do, you know, totally be follow me and just throw out those max air streams. So that's that's really scary. Um, yeah, and Scratchy gets fake out too, that's nice. So, um, I. To be honest, I want to see how this Magmar fits in. I want to see. I want to see. Uh, you know, I, like I haven't used really Magmar or Magmortar ever, so. I want to see how they get used, if they get used, um, like, you know, you've got a ton of scary Pokemon on this team, so I don't know, maybe Magmar isn't really brought that often, but, uh, but if it is, I mean, yeah, I want to see how that gets used, that, that's really cool, so, really scary draft, really nice, um, and that's going to wrap it up for us today, um, let me know how you guys, uh, how you guys like this, or, or, you know, um, if you thought it was cool, um, I had fun analyzing the teams, and, uh, um, so I, I think the, there's so many scary teams. Uh, you would think with like 24 players, like some players would just snag up all the good Pokemon and then everybody would be left with the, the junk, but uh, that's not really the case when I look at this. It's going to come down to who plays better, I think, because there are so many scary teams. And uh, um, yeah, I'm really excited for this season. And uh, um, thanks for watching, if you actually did all this time. Come on, you gotta check out the Welsh Warlords. At least watch until then. So, alright. Goomer signing off. Thanks.